must be a reason for it, don't you know? The talk is I talk about you all the time, but I've got a bad case of you on my mind. I wrote our names together when you see it when see. Do I have to draw a picture, put it in front of your face, to make you take a good look at what's the taking place? Do I have to draw a picture, can't you see for yourself? Don't you know that I've fallen for you and I'm not in the rush of anything? Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you. First, let me, uh, let me say welcome to each and every one of you. We appreciate you coming out to the show tonight. We have a lot of music, so I don't want to talk too long. I just want to tell you that we're all songwriters, and all the songs we do are songs that we've written. But in just a little bit, one of the finest songwriters around will be out here. A man that we've been working with a long time and very proud to be working with him. He's from Brownsville, Texas, and his name is Chris Christopherson. All right? So again, let me say thank you. We appreciate you coming and we hope you enjoy the show.
I will fight and I will die for freedom Up against an eagle or a bear I will help my brother and we'll sink or swim together If you don't like it, mister, I don't care I have served with honor in the army I have been a soldier overseas I have seen my fatherland Stagger like a dying man Blinded and bewildered by disease I ain't gonna take it any longer I can't look around it anymore I'll defend what I believe In a land of liberty Like my father fight and I will die for freedom up against an eagle or a bear I will help my brother and we'll sink or swim together you don't like it mister I don't Pray to God for Nicaragua And the sorrow of El Salvador today And I'll say until the day We free, we free Leonard Peltier All the world will be changed one for the heroes.
Son of God Almighty. Only one called Jesus Christ. Healed the lame and fed the hungry. For his love, they took his life away. On the road to glory, where the story never ends. Just the Holy Son of Man, you'll never understand. My God, they killed him. About Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, sing of Jesus Christ Almighty, and the brothers Kennedy. all the way to New Orleans. I pulled my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana, blowing sad while Bobby sang the blues. With them windshield wipers slapping time and Bobby clapping hands, he finally sang a very song that driver knew. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing ain't worth nothing but it's free. Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues. Feeling good was good enough for me. Good enough for me, Bobby McGee. From the cool winds of Kentucky to the California sun, Bobby shared the secrets of my soul. Standing right beside me, Lord, through everything I've done, every night she kept me from the cold. When somewhere near Salinas, Lord, I let her slip away. Looking for the home I hope you'll find. And I'd trade all my tomorrows for one single yesterday. Holding Bobby's body next to mine. Freedom's just another word. Nothing but it's free. Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues. Buddy, that was good enough for me. Good enough for me, Bobby McGee. Yeah.
If you're feeling salty I'm your tequila If you've got the freedom I've got the time There ain't nothing sweeter Than naked emotion So you show I'll show you mine So many people got so many lines They've all been trying, it's true They've all got so many reasons There ain't none of them new But for your so little distance between me and you I think we're two of a kind We won't do nothing you don't want to do and I won't tell you Welcome to our last show in Austria. It's good to be here in Vienna. We love to play in Austria because we love the people and the country and the spirit here. Sorry about the beard. Here's a song for everybody hanging on to the faith. It's called Shipwrecked in the 80s. You're riding, 
and it's whirling and sucking you deeper on down every day. So you turn to your trusty old partner to share some old feelings. And you find to your shock that your faithful companion is gone. So long, Tonto. And the truth slowly dawns that you're lost and alone in deep water. And you don't even know how much longer there is to go on. Chris and welcome to Vienna. Oh, Can you speak back. German? Any? You speak any German? Uh, ambition. I, I can't. When I when I was uh, stationed over here, mm -hmm. I uh, by the end of the three years I could speak enough to get by. Mm -hmm. But I haven't practiced it since then. Uh -huh. so. Would you try to say Grüß Gott for the people? <laughs> Grüß Gott. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's great. But I don't know what it means. It means it's how people in Austria greet each other. Oh, really? Yeah. Greetings, greet I you, wish God. I wish I'd known that first. Yeah. Um, would you have a couple questions? Try okay. them out. Uh, you were going to be coming this fall, I think, for a tour in, in in Europe, or at least in Austria, and then that was in uh, the summer. In the summer. Yeah. Yeah, and then it was canceled. 
Yeah. Uh, what happened there? What was that? Uh, I had to do. I was doing a film that ran over. It was in uh, Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. I'm called Sandino. That uh, was a Spanish uh, Nicaraguan production mm -hmm. about, uh, I guess, the father of their country. You know, the man who the Sandinistas are named for, right. who was fighting the Marines 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was down there for two and a half months, and uh, I don't know when it's coming out, uh -huh. but Miguel Latin, a Chile from Chile, uh, directed it. Uh -huh. So it should be good. Yeah, good. Uh, your songs and your your whole stage, your whole show, you're very political, right? <laughs> yeah. <it's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got a lot to say, and you're saying yeah. it well. Do you think that's really a part of, the, of a, an artist's job to, to say things like that? And do you think it helps? I think it's I think it's part of a, a human human's job. You know, uh, if you're an artist, that's the way you do it. If you are a newspaper man, or if you're a journalist, or mm -hmm. a, or if you work in film like you do, uh, that's the way you do it. I think everybody has a responsibility, though, to uh, if you're aware of of uh, the truth of some situation, you're, it's your your obligation to pass it on. Mm -hmm. And in uh, in particular, in uh, regard to the to uh, the third world countries right now, mm -hmm. and uh, in Central America, Latin America, uh, the truth is not is not being reported in the United States. It, actually, you get better reporting over here than you do in the United States about mm -hmm. uh, what is going on in, in Central America. But the truth of it is people are struggling for freedom down there, and uh, my government is resisting the change. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are dying, and I feel a responsibility because it's my government who's, who's uh, doing it. Doing it, yeah. yeah. Doing In a it. word, yeah. it's my government too, by the way. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the <laughs> truth, and and uh, and the reason that we sing about it over here is that it needs to be. There needs to be an awareness uh, all over the world because the the uh, allies need to put pressure on the United States too, and not accept what they say the truth is about what's going on in Nicaragua. You know, because because. Uh, the truth is, the American government has never cared about democracy or human rights in Nicaragua. Yeah. And they don't care about democracy or human rights in El Salvador or Guatemala. And uh, uh, people should realize this. Thank you. Uh, something else again now. People here think of you as being a country western star and country singer. Do you think of yourself that way too, or do you classify it at all? Do you like to, or do you want to well, avoid that? Uh, it's always been difficult ever since I started singing almost 20 years ago <laughs> uh, to categorize where, because uh, when we started performing, uh, we didn't work in country clubs. We were working in, in the rock and roll clubs in Los Angeles and in, uh, uh, New York at the bitter end in the village, you know, and uh, playing over at concerts like the Isle of Wight, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I had been a country songwriter in Nashville, and uh, when country people record my songs, they're country songs, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I think it's been a problem for for my record companies mm -hmm. knowing where to market my material because because the I've never had uh, country hits on my own singing of them you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, the and the country audience is is traditionally pretty conservative yeah and uh, and I like that because I I feel like we're we're not just preaching to the choir. You know, we're bringing, <laughs> we're bringing new information to people when we play in-country uh, audiences, like mm -hmm. in the state fairs or in the bars that we play back home. Sure. Uh, 
but it's it presents a difficulty for my record company because they don't know where to sell my records. They they tried to sell. They killed him, you know the song about Martin Luther King yeah, and yeah. and Mahatma Gandhi, and it's the country so audience just said we don't want it, <laughs> you know, uh, we don't care, you know, and uh, uh, it's been a couple of years since I've had an album out because of that because uh, uh, the the material was considered too political to market, but. Now, for some reason, uh, they've changed their mind, and they're they're trying to sell it. And uh, I think they at least have a market over here in Europe, you know, because the audiences have been very receptive yeah. to to uh, our our songs here. Thank you very much. Thank I don't you. want to take too much more time, but I have one more question, and that is for the country people here in Austria. Mm -hmm. uh, they think of country music also as being very traditional. Mm -hmm. And the orchestration of it, for instance, with the synthesizers and organs and so on, mm -hmm. like that. Do you think that's part of it too? Do you think that the country music just has to grow that way? And well, in a lot of ways, I think we're more traditional than uh, than a lot of the the big popular country <laughs> acts today, because because I see them with horns and yeah. with, uh, <laughs> with uh, uh, all kinds of. Uh, different arrangements. At least our arrangements are fairly basic, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, my reason for adding people like that is that I never fire anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, uh, I just keep adding. It gets bigger and bigger. Uh, Donnie and Billy have been with me since I started in 1970, mm -hmm. so that's that's almost 20 years. Yeah, it's 20 years ago. Thank you very much for your Thanks. time. Thanks. Bye-bye.